The maneuverability and the speed of this vessel is absolutely remarkable. Um, as you'll see soon, um, you know, to be travelling at the speed to excess of the petrol dumps, that's just stopping. <laughs> What you now is very well signed to the casualties and all for the assistance of the RNLI. As you can see, she's a beautiful boat, fantastic lines. Communication will be going on via the, uh, the headsets and microphones and there's a display in front of each crew member that shows the uh, state of the engineering on the boat. Uh, You're actually going down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> the boat doesn't have rudders. The actual uh, directional capability is the, the jack themselves, which if you like are like tubes that, uh, <laughs> that's uh, demonstrated in crash stop. Oh. Which um, can be very handy at times, I'm sure. <laughs> the boat, as well as being able to uh, spin on a sixpence um, and go forward down the stern, also has a capability of moving sideways. Um, it's a bit complicated to explain how it actually does it, but it's again another great advancement in um, life-saving capability to actually get alongside uh, casualties um, safely. That of course is one of the most critical points in any sort of difficult rescue is actually getting on alongside the vessel in distress and transferring crew and board. So as you can see she's um, going around uh, 360 degrees and again, that's been done by the skill of the, uh, the helmsman or the coxswain um, in how they um, use the directional thrust and the buckets. Seems to be doing a little dance for you now. You can see the water being blasted out of the stern of the boat by the jet. Right? So as you can see, the boat's creeping ahead. Um, very, very manoeuvrable. <laughs> She's now demonstrating the sideways movement. see the crew in their positions now through the, uh, the windows on the side of the boat. And now, you know, uh, there's a demonstration of the speed of pickup. You can see the water now being blasted out of the stern of the boat by the technology. Well, video cameras may be in particular because the brand new 2.2 million pounds New Flanders New Lifeboat, the William F. Yates, is about to come ashore for the very first time in the history of our new lifeboat. And, uh, well, anything can happen now. Yeah, it's very important. So, cameras at the ready. Here she comes, arriving on shore for the very first time in the history of this new boat. Proud moment for the RNLI here in London. No proud moment for the town. And proud moment for the crew actually inside the boat. An amazing moment in their in lives to be on this boat to come ashore for the first time. The RNLI 1318 arriving home in the Queen of the Welsh Seaside Resorts. Here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, the William F. Yates. Welcome home, William F. Yates. Welcome home to Graham Heritage.
is the coxswain and the crew who sailed her for 400 miles home from Poole in Dorset to Flanders know the Queen, which it is, of the Welsh seaside resorts. We have just witnessed a moment in RNLI history as this is the first ever Shannon class lifeboat to be in service on the Welsh coastline. Don't forget these, uh, the crew, all volunteers on call 24-7, 365, they'll just drop everything at a moment's notice and just go. They will go to the lifeboat house, get the dry suits on, get the lifeboats out and go and save those lives at sea. Whatever time of the day or night, however many times of the day the, the call comes in, they will go. It all looks very smooth. It is. It's a very well thought out operation. The SARS that you can see in front of you uh, represents about 20 years of development. So we're basically back with it. So now the coxswain is uh, levelling up, or the right, the slot operator is levelling off the, uh, the boat in the direction of the head launch. So here we go. You might like to get the crew a wave, they're waving to, uh, to everybody. Well done. Thanks for bringing her 400 miles from Paul in Dorset along the British coast to the Welsh coast. Nice round of applause for the live crew there, ladies and gentlemen. Sterling job as well. They start on Wednesday in the The William F. Yates for the very first time. And we are so grateful to you, ladies and gentlemen, not just for coming along today to welcome home in the William F. Yates, but also for staying all this time. This is absolutely wonderful on you. And, uh, it's deserving of the, the lifeboat that you are here today to witness all this. Moment in the sun.